sneakers shoes. Uh, they're connected, they're smart, that's why they're here at the EFTM YouTube channel. And you can check out all our videos by clicking subscribe, ring the bell, and get everything we do right here at EFTM, including smart connected fitness shoes from Under Armour. All right, so this is not my first pair. This is about the third pair we've had of the Under Armour Hovers. This is slightly overhauled design, to be honest. They're completely new in many ways. And I'll let a sneakerhead tell you about all the airing and softness and feeling and stuff. But I will tell you they're, they're, they're essentially um, very airy because like I can see through I can see the lights through the, through the shoe um, lining here. So they're a very light shoe. They dry very easily, which is one thing that Under Armour talks about in the Machina 2s. But um, what's critical here is what's in, the, what's in the shoe. So inside the shoe, inside one of the shoes, is a Bluetooth tracker. And it's more than just a step counter. I think this is what's really important here to understand. This is not for someone like me who just wants to know basic activity and steps. This is for someone who wants to know deep about what they're doing with their stride, their cadence, all these different parts of their training, and most importantly, take advantage of the Under Armour coaching that can be done through the app. Now, I discovered this by chance. I was listening to music with my um, headphones. I was using Map My Run, which is now the Under Armour app that pairs with the shoes and all that kind of jazz. And as I got through the walk, normally a, a basic smart tracker or something might vibrate and tell you you've made it a kilometer or whatever, but this would tell me in my ears. So it would tell me my um, duration, distance, um, uh, rate of pace, so different things like that, um, and a very simple uh, coaching that occurs in your ears. And you can ramp that up. You can actually have it ramp up so that it combines all the different things like heart rate and stuff to actually give you the coaching in full. Because obviously it can, it can get my heart rate from a smartwatch, it can get steps from the hit. There's a whole range of data that will pull in to actually help and coach you. And Under Armour's data, they pulled a bunch of anonymous data from tens of thousands of users and they found that the people that were using the coaching were pushing harder, they were going faster, they were going further. And I think that's really, really cool. This is, as I said, for someone who really wants to take their running and their journey towards perhaps a marathon or whatever you're trying to do, seriously, this is this is gonna give you that push forward. And I'll, I'll show you why. If, if you just look at my, this is just my app here, so not exactly gonna be amazing data, right? I've done some walks. Um, and it can show you obviously where you've walked, but look at this data here, okay? Distance, duration, average pace, number of steps, average heart rate that came from my watch at the time, calories burned, and then a bunch of other things like average cadence, um, average stride length, average ground contact time. I mean, it's unbelievable the amount of data in there. And there's a whole lot more that you can see if you want to. Look at this, show all data. And what this will do, this will overlay that information with the whole journey. So for example, the elevation of the run is shown here in gray with my pace alongside it. The elevation again with my heart rate, um, heart rate zone so you can see how hard you've pushed because even though I'm not a fitness person, I know the basics of you need to push into certain zones to actually burn more calories and have more effect. Your elevation shown in itself, cadence. And so you can compare whether or not your cadence or stride length is um, changed or impacted by things like the elevation of the trip. Uh, ground contact time. I mean, I just find this stuff unbelievable in terms of data. The $220, but you know, in terms of shoes, um, you know, you pay easily that for a bunch of, bunch of different shoes on the market. So you may be paying a slight premium for the hover uh, in the Machina 2s here. They're very simple, easy to set up, and essentially it's all about, I think it's the right shoe that the sensor's in. And um, once the shoe kind of, the, the sensor goes to sleep when there's no movement, but all you do is you tap the shoe, pair it with the, with the app, and you're off and running with ease. Great little shoes, Under Armour Hover Machina 2s, 220 bucks, well worth a look.